Hey Aquarians, this is Hale for HES Ultimage, and this is your divination forecast for the month of May. Hey guys, um, so really quick, uh, if you want a personal reading, you can hit the link below to my website, or if you want an awesome bracelet, yeah, and there are many different colors and all that stuff. Okay. Oh, and that's the other really quick announcement I wanted to make, and he really wants for me to turn these. Um, as I mentioned, oh, okay, ah, interesting stuff going on here. Give me a second, okay? Um, because he wants me to rearrange these. But as I mentioned before in the April videos, I went through my um, spiritual ascension period, you know, within that recent time, and it had shifted how I feel, you know, spirit, because I used to feel it externally um, through, like, sensations, tingles, and vibrations outside of myself. Now I feel spirit through my physical body, um, particularly my spirit guide. So he gives me messages, <laughs> yeah, through um, winking my eye to, like, give me confirmation about what I'm talking about. Um, he'll also, like, sometimes, like, kind of turn my head a little bit to circle particular decks. I mean, sorry, not particular decks, but particular lines of cards that I do um, to let me know which ones he wants me to go to first, other than, of course, like, throwing certain energy to certain ones and stuff like that. So um, so know that when I'm winking at the camera that I'm, I'm not trying to be very seductive or anything, um, and I don't have a physical tick. It's, it's literally my guides giving me the confirmation, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, so here we go. Um, kicking off your May. All right, Aquarians. Okay. So, um, overall energy, okay? Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Um, we've got the Fool. I'll show you one at a time here. The Sorceress. There we go. Five of Wands. Okay. And Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. And it's funny because, like, I had certain thoughts coming to my mind knowing that they were probably going to be relevant to the reading. And I feel like this is going to ring true for you guys. Because the feelings were having to do with, you know, sensuality, sexuality, temptation. Um... Because actually someone I used to know that I was attracted to was under the sign of Aquarius. What is with me in air signs? I'm like totally into air signs. I don't know what it is. Well, air sun signs rather. Because like they might be composed of other charts. But I don't know. I'm always into guys who are air signs. I don't know what the hell's with me. Because like I have no air in my chart whatsoever. Maybe maybe that's the thing. It's like opposites attract. But anyhow. Um, Seven of Pentacles is one of the most like fun, frisky, sexy cards in this particular deck. Um, but it's showing me this idea of, like, this opening that's happening for you in May. Um, and again, this could be in other areas of your life, but still manifested through that playful, frisky, flirty energy. But here we go. Because we've got the Fool, which represents new beginnings, or new situations, new prospects, new... new um, opportunities, new interactions. Then we've got the sorceress, which is showing a sense of empowerment or magic within them, yeah. And then, this is really interesting, because we've got five of wands, which would suggest some sort of competition, combat, or hurdles, or um, challenges, okay? Yeah. And, uh, okay, okay, he really wants me to see all of the other cards now. Give me a second, because then I'm going to get it all together. Okay. All right. Sorry, give me a second, because there are a lot here. Cool. Okay, I'm just getting the overall stream of things. Okay, hold on, because you... He wants me to move these ones around a little bit, and then I'll have the stream of, uh... Oh, okay, that one at the very top. Oh, okay, I'm getting it. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm sorry you can't see me actually rearrange the cards, because they're a little below me, but... Alright. Okay, so again, it has to do with, like, opening up to this more 
fun, frisky, uh, sensual, open, exposed kind of energy. Um, and again, that's going to be new for you. But again, because like you're going to face some challenges related to the expression of it at first. But anyhow, give me a second because I want to see what he wants to relate to this. Okay, because those feelings are going to be new kinds of feelings. Um, yeah. So, in which case, you need to kind of overcome the hurdles that are in the way of experiencing those types of feelings fully. Yeah. It's kind of like you have to call upon your own sense of power and inner power to break whatever kinds of hurdles are in the way or challenges or challengers when it comes to this new opportunity or new beginning, whatever, that is related to this new um, fun, frisky, sexy, um, open kind of energy. Okay? All right, give me one second. Okay, because now he wants me to show you the reaping card. This is the other thing. Now I'll do any part of the spread. If he wants me to do reaping first, I'll do reaping first. I have for a lot of signs this month, actually. Um, sometimes it just makes the picture that much clearer. All right. Um, reaping is going to be Seven of Pentacles. For, for those just joining us, reaping is our manifestation or future card. This is the outcome of what you can gain from this month when you follow through. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. All right. Cool. Um, Seven of Pentacles is actually speaking with this Seven of Pentacles. Very different flavors and energies to them, but here we go. Um, this particular Seven of Pentacles in the reaping has to do with this, like, abundance that comes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. The abundance that comes, they're showing me this is really just a reflection of this card. Yeah, okay. Like, so really, the thing that you're going to gain from this month is this. They just wanted to show me through another Seven of Pentacles that really they just wanted me to repeat this card, basically. Um, that rarely happens, but it did this time. I mean, that's that's the way it is. Because, um, again, the new beginning has to do with you feeling more free, more sensual, more frisky, more playful, more fun, more, again, open. Because, again, like, the idea of this particular card is, like, the figure, she's empowered, but she's very, very playful, seductive, like, in the best possible sense. It's, like, freedom to just be whoever you want to be again. Like, and I know that's really big for Aquarians. I feel like a month long, long ago we had this kind of discussion. But, um, but it's important in, in the life of an Aquarian period that you're always being 100% yourself. Yeah, exactly. Because the whole idea of the Aquarius energy is that you'll march to the beat of your own drummer. And it's funny, because Pisces is actually very in tune to that energy too. But I think for Aquarians, it's more about being able to, to share your revolutionary spirit on your sleeve. Well, it's like with Pisces, I think Pisces has such an active inner mind, saying that as someone who has Sun and Mercury in Pisces, have such an active inner world that they don't necessarily feel like they have to be motivated to share it with other people. Where with Aquarians, I think there's such a desire to externalize your, your feelings of bohemia, of of, um, of abstract, of feelings of, um, a very different kind of world or different kind of experience, that it's really important for you to be able to share that with people all the time, as opposed to, like, censoring yourself. Okay? All right. Cool. Okay, cool. There, he's giving me more here. Because, um, with the Four of Swords, um, Four of Swords in this one is showing me those feelings of, like, doubt or insecurity that can result from you holding back. Um, and it's funny because I was thinking a lot about identity while I was doing these cards, too. Okay, um, cause, cause he showed me the chariot tied with this, um, again, fun, frisky, sexy, um, unbound. Think of this as the ideal Aquarian card, okay? That idea of cutting loose from your own restrictions. All right, that's the idea of that card. And again, that is the reaping you can acquire this month 
as well, even though I think this is really a life lesson for Aquarians, period, is that when you're an Aquarian, you shouldn't try and change who you really are. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because, like, who you really are is of great value, and you shouldn't be afraid to share your true feelings or your true identity with others for fear of being shut down because you're different. Okay? Because, yeah, because the difference is what makes you special. All right. Okay, here we go. Um, continuing with energy that surrounds you for the month, because remember, we had this, which was showing that idea of the conflict between how you want to express yourself as an individual versus your fears or doubts related to how you share it with other people. And if you'll be accepted for that, we have temperance. All right. So that's showing the idea of you being able to Okay, I think it's more about you being able to spill out more of the true you, basically. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, next one is Knight, uh, sorry, King of Pentacles. Oh, and they're showing me it's tied to that, again, that Seven of Pentacle, um, fun, frisky, sexy card. Give me one second. Or in this case, um, Ideal Aquarian as far as, um, being unchained, un uncensored. Okay. All right. Okay, they're showing me that that's the value that you need to really hold in the highest esteem. Okay, all right. Okay, cool. Got it. Because then we've got the chariot, which is showing, in this case, the elevation that you can gain, again, by by not censoring who you are. And again, this is, this is turning out to be a very internalized month for you. There are it's funny, Libra's had a very similar type of thing where it's like, for, I'm, and I'm, I still have to do, um, Gemini, but I'm thinking this is going to be a very introspective month for, for air signs. It's funny, each, each element's kind of getting a very different flavor, but yeah, for you guys, it's really about internal work for the month of May. It's about, um, how you feel on the inside and how that's manifesting on the outside. Yeah, that's really big. Um, because for you, there are new opportunities and new, new experiences that you could be having, but if you're censoring your purest nature and your purest truth, you can't experience any of them. And that's what the challenge is here, okay? The challenge is about the sense of doubt or fear or insecurity, and again, you just kind of need to let your own self come through. Um, and again, because it's like, that's where the magic comes from. You know, only when we're tapped into our deepest sense of truth, our most authentic representation, can we manifest the most authentic life. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, next is energy you're bringing. <laughs> okay, cool. And it's temperance. So it's funny because you just got two of the temperance cards, but um, they are really playing into the Seven of Pentacles strongly. She is really your key card for this entire month. So again, it's the idea of what is the best thing about Aquarians is the idea of, you know, letting yourself be unlike anyone else. That's really important to value this month. And if you don't value it, or if you push it in the dark all the time, then this would be the month to start cutting loose a little more and letting people see the part of you that's so perfectly unique. All right. Um, temperance in this version is showing the idea of, okay, ah, <laughs> it's funny. It's actually kind of a carryover of the other temperance card. Okay, so I'm going to show these to you just for the, just for the hell of it, because I always say the pictures are just a canvas. The message is through me and my guide. That's how it works for anyone. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, in this version of Temperance, the guy is actually touching the water that's coming down from the stream. In this version of Temperance, the girl is releasing the stream. So it's really a matter of you connecting. And trust me, this doesn't always happen. This is how it's reading in this particular reading right now. It's the matter of you connecting again with your own sense of truth with that, okay? Because when it comes to the energy of the month, it's the idea of you spilling out this, this perfection of your own unique identity. 
while energy you're bringing is about you connecting to that identity that you're releasing more out into society or out into your friendships, family relationships, or your romantic relationships. I can't really stress this enough. Like, if you're not expressing yourself completely authentically, it will always be a struggle for you. Like, there are certain signs that are capable of submerging themselves on a great level and can still function pretty well. I think for Pisces and for Aquarians in particular, for you to try and suspend your own unique identity or your own personal truth that needs to be expressed because it's a part of your overall package, it's a necessity to to your your personal gifts and everything like that. And they're showing me it's also a necessity to your own sense of happiness and fulfillment. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, and this is kind of perfect pairing here. Um, reflection is the locket and the house paired together. Okay, locket, house, all right. Um, locket is showing me the idea of things that are held dear and held close, yeah. Um, house is showing me the idea of structure. So it's about finding greater structure in, in what you hold most dear. In this case, it has to do with your own unique sense of expression and your own unique sense of what makes you different from everybody else. Because again, like, and I'm going to push this again, even if you don't like it, but, you know, as an Aquarian, it's important for you to be able to express what makes you different, okay? So if you're not doing that, then maybe you should start. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be something weird or something, yeah. Um, sorry, he was winking while I was making a weird face. <laughs> um, but it doesn't have to be something weird. It can just be something that makes you, you have a... It's, it's about expressing your values that are different from other people's, but that's what makes you special, okay? Because you have a sense of perspective that's unlike anybody else's. Um, again, it's like Pisces and Aquarian in particular have very unique perceptive abilities. And for Aquarians, it's more in the abstract, where with Pisces, it's more in the artistic as far as, like, um, literal arts. Where with Aquarians, it's mental arts. I love that. I'm going to say it one more time. Mental arts. So it's the idea of abstract thinking, um, abstract uh, connections that you make about society that nobody else would make. Um, okay. Action. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. And action is exactly what we were talking about already. Okay, here we go. Hold on, they want me to tackle this one first. Seven of Wands, which shows this woman very enticed by these grapes in front of her. To me, it's the intoxication and connection to your own... Okay, I'm gonna say it this way, don't get a big head. Your own brilliance, okay? So that's the first one, okay? So it's falling in love with your own unique characteristics, all right? And you're falling in love with your own unique perspective and own unique expression, okay? Expression of self. Then we have the moon. And guess what this one's all about? Yep, it's about bringing harmony to two very different entities, all right? And in this case, it's about you bringing in your your own unique perspective into harmony with the greater collective. And that means sharing it regardless of how they receive it. But I do believe that people can see more of what makes you special when you share it with them, okay? So, and again, like, if you do find any um, hurdles about how people accept what you you know, express as far as who you are as a person or what you feel politically, socially, etc. Um, know that what's more important is the new opportunities can result from being more yourself rather than the hurdles that can result from other people trying to keep you from being yourself, okay? All right. Um, that said, I do personal readings. If you want one, hit the link below. Hope you do. Hope you'll have an awesome month, and again, the key thing here is be yourself regardless of how others will receive it this month, because the more important thing is you can gain new experiences and new opportunities from being more authentic 
than you will have from facing any opposition by being more truthful to yourself. All right, guys, I'll see you later.